Got it. Okay. So how are you doing today? Doing great. Thank I'm you. Good. I'm good. Likewise. Um, so I want to start out by just sharing this idea that I had years ago when I was little. And that was, um, at, when I say little, I mean, I was a teenager because I'd started a healing journey and it seemed to be so arduous and long and such a process. And I'm still on that journey and it's been over 17 years now. And I kept asking the question, if there was a faster way or a more effective way to go through a process of getting where I really wanted to go, I want to know that. And then a few months ago, my cousin called me up and all he said was, if you could take a pill for anything, what would you take it for? And it blew my mind. And I literally thought some drug had been concocted that could mentally change your mind and change your life overnight. And he shared his experience, which blew me away. Things that he had opened up to you about and confided in that I didn't even know this thing about him. Mm. And he said, it changes life overnight. And I was like, if I ever, if I ever have a chance to do this, I'm going to do it because this is like the answer to that question. That's been gnawing on my mind for, for over a decade now. So tell me more about what this is. Well, the X pill, I call it an inert pill. Uh, some people call it placebo. I don't believe it's that. It's got all the power of placebo, but with a placebo, there's not really a backstory. There's not really um, a, a, just so much around it that can be done. And But also the power of it is it's the most studied pill in the world. It's one of the most, it's probably the most effective pill in the world because it's been used in so many studies and so many medications have not gone to market because placebo beat them. And uh, so the X pill is, it's an inert pill that you use to set a conscious intention to go to the unconscious mind. Because what I realized is that a pill is like an archetypical symbol. So an archetypical symbol is something that we both understand, but has different meanings. So the way I might dream about a bear and you might dream about a bear, the bear could be my anger. The bear could be your dad, but it's still a bear. So the pill is a pill to you, a pill to me. What does it mean? A pill means change. A pill means commitment. And so when people take it, that's why sometimes after people take it, they freak out of like, oh my God, what did I just do? Because you can't take it back once you've already committed to whatever that is, which is why that one time somebody used it to quit smoking, they took the pill to quit smoking and then uh, right after said, you know what, forget it, I'm going to smoke. And they, they took one puff and projectile vomited out. That's how big the change is and how big the mind body is connection is with uh, the power of placebo pill. Wow. Yeah. And yet it's not a drug then it has what's in it. Yeah. It's brown rice powder. So unless somebody's allergic to brown rice powder, every single effect they're feeling is from everything around the pill. It's the story that goes into it, how it was created. It was the process called the activation that, uh, that we do that, that gets people really aligned. Um, it's everything around it. It's even the people that you do it with sometimes. Like I've done it on stage to a thousand people. Um, there's, that's, that's a lot of power there to have some, everybody doing that all at once. It's almost cult-like, but I, I call it the anti-cult because uh, cults require you to accept their dogma. And this is you programming yourself, of you committing to yourself, of you picking whatever that is for you. So I think it's like, it's cult-like, but it's very much an anti-cult in my mind. Mm. Because it's, if there's any organization on board, it's you. It's all the things inside of you that's organized on board to do whatever it is that you say that it's going to do. Because getting on your website, one of the first titles that it says is like the only active ingredient mm -hmm. is you. Yeah. And it doesn't necessarily get you what you want. I got to say it's really um, an alignment tool. I feel because some people get exactly what they want immediately, but other people, myself included, depending on the thing, and I've done it several hundred times um, is if you're not in alignment, what is in the way of it tends to come up. Um, so um Actually, I, I don't think he'd mind me sharing. Uh, uh, Tristan recently used it for his hearing. Um, he was getting tinnitus. And I said, why don't you take the X pill for it? And he was like, why didn't I think of that? And he got it. And it didn't cure his tinnitus, but it, he had a thought he didn't have before, which was these exercises that he does. Because he thought he was going to have to go to expert after expert and figure this out and spend thousands of dollars. But right after taking to it, 
the immediate exercise he knew that can help his hearing that he forgot about that he was trained in. He said, why haven't I been doing that? And that thought didn't come to mind until he took the pill. Oh, wow. So it really did give him the answer, but it, it just wasn't in the way that he was expecting. Cause right here, here's a question that I have and a concern that I've had is like here, you know, in the fields that I've studied in, there's karma, there's Dharma, there's all these things that you can choose to believe and not believe in. It doesn't matter per se. Um, but if there was one and that it is real, like I want to live on that dharmatic path. I want to mm -hmm. live in alignment. And so there's these things that I want that I think I want, that I think are in alignment. And part of my reservation and committing to certain things is, is it really in alignment? Am I going down a dead end path? Am I going to be wasting my time? Like, like, can you ever take the pill and feel like you've wasted your time in essence? Or how would you describe that? Does it bring you back into alignment? How, it's a great question. I, I think it does. I've never heard anybody say they regretted taking it. Even when things went off the rails, they got to learn something. So, But I totally get it. People are very, very afraid of what they want because you think, what if it's not the right thing? And what if I just had not done it at all? And that's why it's really a commitment tool. You're committing down to a certain path. And I think that the, 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 the test for it is – um, I, I talk to people about this whenever they start a venture, and I say, if you if you know it will fail, will it still be worth it? And you think, mm -hmm. no, I wouldn't do that. But when I, for example, I worked with Zappos.com and just had an amazing experience there, and I was called in to launch a company. And if you told me, you know, you're gonna in two years you're gonna fail at this, I would have said, sign me up because I want to be at Zappos. I want to be there. I want to ex have this experience. Right. So that's what I think of when I think of, of of committing to these things. Is the journey itself worth it? Wow. Yeah. I think so often I get caught up in wanting to commit to only things that are guaranteed to have a long term result. And that perhaps it's my limiting belief of how I've defined success because I don't understand that what I just heard you say is it's more about the experience that we come here for experiences. And often we only limit ourselves from experiencing and growing in life because we're afraid of whatever that thing is. And I get it. I'm afraid of it too. I mean, I don't, I don't always take it for these things. I mean, I have to make sure I'm really committed and that's why I often will take it for instead, like I, I surrender to God, you know, because that sometimes is, I'm saying to the universe, to my brain, however you think these work, because it, it goes beyond the brain in, in, in a lot of scenarios where I've seen people use it, is, um, you know, taps into your deeper belief system. And so that's one way that that you can use it to say, you know what, I'm not so sure of this. I'm going to surrender this and use this pill to surrender it. Mm. So that surrender is key because what I've been feeling, because I've, I've been thinking for the last few days, like, in preparation for taking an X pill and all these feelings are coming up and I haven't even touched an X pill yet. And like deep down the root thing for me, at least coming up is like my sense of security and safety. Is that being threatened right now? Cause like, I'm so comfortable. I'm in a great place. I'm really happy. And mm -hmm. I want this growth to happen in my life. And it's like, I can feel it and it's coming and it's like, it's guaranteed. But at the same time, I'm like, holding on as if this is a roller coaster that I'm afraid of that's about to go off track or something. I'm like, I'm going so fast. It's like, what's going to happen? And it's scary, but it's exciting because like, oh, I, don't, I am feeling the emotions coming up now because there's a part of me that feels so called to do something bigger than I am. And I think the only thing that makes me feel safe is holding on to something even bigger than that. Mm, wow. Something that I know is going to have my back. And you just described that like surrendering to God is huge because there's a part of me that without a doubt, I know he's got my back because mm. I've fallen on my face so many times. And guess what? He's the first person I'm calling on for help. Mm -hmm. And he shows up every time. And so it's like, as a, I, I'm a parent and I have five children and I want them to succeed and I'm okay watching them fail sometimes. You know, I know that's going to happen when they learned how to ride a bike, but I'm so excited because I know what joy is on the other side of mastering that balance. And it's a beautiful thing. So, I mean, I mean, you mentioned having reservations and um, what else has come up for you? Because, I mean, you've done this a hundred times more than I have. 
Yeah, I mean, I've I've used it in so many ways, and and the thing is, you got you got to be clear. That's that's the main thing is to be clear. And I say to people because you take full responsibility. I mean, it, it can be lifetime response, not lifetime responsibilities. Well, it could be. Um, you know, I, when I couldn't find a puppy that I wanted, I took the X pill for the perfect one comes to me, and I met my dog Sunny the next day. Um, wow. You know, it can be, and you know, I've seen people take it for meeting their their partner in life like a romantic partner. And you know what I've seen with that is it might be the one. And I've also seen it be the one that gives people some serious lessons of that relationship that they needed to learn, you know, and that's where it can be scary of like, oh, wait, is this, is this really it? And, you know, thankfully now I, I tell people that because it was only the early days of experimenting that we started to realize, oh, uh oh, the, the person you meet that next day that you think is the one might not be. So use some discernment with this is this coming up as a lesson for me or is this coming up as the right person you know um and that's kind of the risk and the fun of it too yeah uh personally in relationships like i've i've had experiences where it's been a big lesson mm -hmm. and but in hindsight like it takes time to grow from that and it's true like i wouldn't regret it i wouldn't change it but man i wish there was an easier way <laughs> um, <laughs> With so many things. And I think that's, that's a big reason why I'm so excited for the X pill is because, um, I'm, I'm all about experiences and, and living life to the fullest and effectively. And something that I'm realizing, like what you mentioned with clarity is that so often I may not be focused on what I really want. And then until I have the opportunity to think I could actually have what I want, then I need to get clear on, well, what is that? what is that? And maybe it is the divine part in us. That's like, you can have anything that you want, but once you experience it, once you experience it, then you can decide if that's really what you thought you wanted, or if there's something that it's going to help you get closer to that thing. Well, it, it, yeah. And I mean, it can, it, it's, I, I was heard it described of God or Jesus that, that when you ask God for something. It's like when your kid asks you for something, if they ask for a snack, you're not going to deny them that you're going to give them some food. But if they asked for a gun, you're not going to give them that, you know, you're going to say, wait right. a minute, this is, it's, it's not, you're not old enough for that. Right. So there's a similar kind of thing with, with, with the X pill where, for example, one woman took it for, uh, she had a seven figure business and wanted an eight figure business and she took it and it, her business immediately crashed. I mean, it usually takes effect within 24 to 48 hours. And totally completely crashed ended up in debt somehow i don't know the whole story but it was a major crash and i was surprised months later her face was beaming and i said how could you be happy she's like i didn't realize till my business crashed that i hate my business i hate this industry i'm running myself into the ground i think i would have died in tears in her eyes saying i think i would have died if i really pursued the eight figures because I was killing myself to get there. And now I'm free to do what I really, really want to do. And her face just lit up, right? So she didn't get what she want, but she really got what she truly wanted. I'm speechless because I'm like, is there any way to go wrong with this? It it doesn't feel like there is or that, that you can go wrong, that it's all meant like it will... <laughs> I think it's, 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 it's I, 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 I have uh, the reason I don't take it all the time is because I've got a great respect for this in this process. And, you yeah. know, you heard, heard Holly, my partner in this explain when she just messed with it and said, I want to see a feather today and took the, the, the X pill for that. And then came home and her dog had ripped apart her comforter and there were thousands of feathers out and cleaning it up for weeks. Right. And so I think it's, it, it's that famous phrase, be careful what you wish for, um, cause it might come true and you don't know how it's going to come true. So I, I definitely uh, approach it with a sense of reverence, a, a, a sense of like, okay, am I really, um, <laughs> story that comes to mind too, is a friend of mine, she had a, uh, one that that Porsche that's like known to kill its owners because it's so fast, so so crazy. It's the one that killed the guy from from the Jackass comedy series. And she said she needed to look at it for weeks before driving it out, being like, oh, "Am I going to take this out? Am I going to? Am I in the right space for this? Okay, now I am." Right? Like that. That to me is the reverence of knowing that that is a high performance automobile that can kill people. You got to be in the right space for it. So I don't think it's something to just do, but at the same time. It amazes me when somebody just gets really, really clear. And I say, are you willing to take full responsibility for anything that happens as a result of this? And they say, yes. Then I'm like, 
all right, let's let let's go for it. So that's why it always comes down to to clarity and taking responsibility for the outcome. So as an activator, has there ever been somebody in front of you describing what they're about to do that's made you like almost like ready to like holy shnikes, like what am I like like gotten you nervous kind of thing? Like have you ever like witnessed that you're like you're ready to take full responsibility, kind of like like having to take deep breaths almost just to witness Oh that. yeah. I mean, it like it's it, it, trying to think which ones of of them um there's one there's one woman who I didn't want to do what she was doing for sure. She was doing it to win the lottery and I'm like, "Oh my gosh, she's going to be so disappointed." I still talk to her to this day and she's like, "It's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. I've got the whole plan for how I'm going to use all the money." And she's like, "I'm going to, you know, credit X pill once it happens." And she's just completely convinced. I'm like, "Okay, good. As as long as as long as you're clear on it." Um, and I think that, uh, you know, I get, I get nervous when people do something that's out of their control like that, because, um, I just say, remember anything can happen. So this one woman, she was doing it for, uh, to feel the love of her husband again. And I said, don't you want it? What, what can you do for it? That's under your control. Maybe you love him more. Maybe you're being open. And she's like, Nope, I want him to love me. Like he used to love me. And I'm like, anything can happen. And she's like, I'm, I want this. And I'm like, as long as you're clear and willing to take full responsibility, she takes it long story short, she ends up going to a strip club and making out with a guy there. And she said, I, I don't know what just happened. She talked to me later. And she said, I just made out with another guy. I, I'm married. I, and I, and she said, but I don't feel guilty. I feel amazing. And I said, she said, what do I do? And I said, this is, it's up to you. You could do anything. You could leave your husband. You could tell him he could leave you. You could not tell him, but you look lit up. You could just go home with all this great energy. And she goes, yes, that's it. I'm going to do that. And she goes home and, and she said, like, it worked. Like all the, they started doing things they'd never done together before. Like all this new energy was in their relationship because, you know, you, you could never, if you had told her that consciously that she would have to do it, she'd say, no way. Um, so that one, that one, I certainly got nervous for when I heard that story. <laughs> wow. So the, the, here's the trippy thing is, is both of those examples you just gave were really something you could say in part outside of their control, but ultimately, at least with that woman's story and her husband, there was something within her that did shift, that did open that door. That's huge. That's yeah, I always say, you know, prepare to be surprised with this. One woman thought she wanted a, another woman at a dating event. She was going to take it for that. And then we went to the visualization portion of the activation and she wasn't liking it. I said, what's it look like? She's like, he's watching TV. I'm on the computer. I'm like, you don't sound like you're liking this picture. She goes, no. And I said, well, you know, oftentimes the resistance comes up in the body. Part of what we do with 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 the activator training is 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 just having people tap into where somebody's at with their body and saying, what do you feel? And usually breath clears it because it's usually a resistance, but this time it wasn't clearing. And I said, okay, it's not clearing. What's, what's there. She's like, there's all this energy behind it. And I said, what's the energy like? And she said, it's just excitement. And I said, okay, well, you sound really lit up about that. Do you want to take the X pill for excitement instead of a relationship? She's like, heck yeah. And so she took it for that was just glowing. And then two weeks later, she meets her boyfriend on a cruise. And I'm guessing that excitement rolled into that relationship rather than the disappointment of sitting on a couch and a computer. Yeah, and exactly. Not exactly. Having excitement in that relationship. Wow. Right, right. Wow. So how long does this activation process take? It's now 10 minutes. It used to take an hour and a half. And I realized a lot of it's because people weren't clear on what they want to use it for. And it took so much coaching to get them clear. And sometimes they wouldn't even get clear. So now the rule for it is you have to come in clear. And that doesn't necessarily stay the the thing. It, it some Oftentimes, the intention will change through the activation process because you're getting in touch with what are the what are the reservations or, or through the body and through the emotions and through the visualization. And sometimes the new thing comes about that. And also what we do is we keep eye contact through the whole time because I've noticed that people will go off on stories when they're just looking around, you know, from an NLP perspective, looking up is imagination, um, looking, uh, looking one way is imagination, looking the other way is memory. Um, but if you hold the eye contact, then you don't go into all these stories. You're just kind of, people are held blank for a second. They're like, oh my God, I'm looking at somebody right in the eye. I'm like, yep, I know I'm right here, right here for you. 
you know, what do you want? And then the truth tends to come out and it tends to be very simple. It tends to be, they come into it with, I want this and it's got to have this, 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 and this. And then when we get to the, well, why do you want that? Well, so I can have this. Well, why do you want that? So I can have peace. Well, okay. If I could get you peace right now, do you want that? Or do you want all those other things first? And I'm like, oh my God, if I don't have to do those other things to get peace, I'd love that. Okay, great. Well, let's go straight to what you want then. How do you do, how do you go through this experience on your own? Because it feels like having someone there with you, holding the space, guiding you, just like you as the activator mm -hmm. really makes, I almost want to say all the difference because like I had over a month to prepare before I saw you in person or about a month. And even before I sat in the chair across from you, I can't say I was a hundred percent clear even then, but once I did sit across from you, I got clear, mm. like crystal clear and all the things aligned, like that wouldn't have happened if I wasn't like, I, it wasn't happening until that moment. It didn't happen until that moment. Some people have said that. I mean, I, I think that what amazes me is some people have your exact story um, others have done it just in a circle with their with their group and their team and their company have had a great experience. Other people have done it on their own. Um, I I don't I don't know what what the some people have said the X pill is me because there's so much of me in the process that they said I've done. But what I'm what I've proud of most about with the X pill activation process is how much I've been able to strip me out of the process. Uh, and I think what you were experiencing when you had the activation was somebody just holding space so well for you without their own agenda. Because I think coaches and even psychologists, it, it's remarkable how many times they'll they'll guide you to a certain direction, but you're not guiding it. And so what I aim to do with this process is it's all it is is getting you in alignment with you and where you are and what you want. Um, so I have heard people say, yes, it's, it's way more powerful with an activator there. It's more powerful with an audience there as you experience a little bit about that. Um, you know, you experience it with people, you know, and care about that can be a pretty profound experience too, just having those people there. So I think that's why I said placebo is everything around it. It's, it's, it's the people involved. It's the ritual. It's, it's, it's those kind of things. Um, and I'd say it's especially good for somebody like in your position where you're not clear, but if somebody is crystal clear, I do believe that, that you can do it on your own. Um, what the activation process helps to is, is clears out some of the resistance that might be there as well. So for example, oftentimes people will say they'll take the X pill for, I, I, by the, taking the X pill, I can write a book. And I'm like, do you want the ability to write a book or do you want to write a book? And then they're like, whoa, okay. Or they say, I, I, I will be at peace. And I said, you want to be at peace in the future or do you want to be at peace now? So let's, let's, how does that feel when you strip out the word will and say, I am at peace? And they go, whoa, that's way more powerful. I said, yeah. Because oftentimes this resistance comes in and I've seen people add the word back in accidentally and they go, by taking this X pill, I will be at peace. And I said, hold on, hold on. You just added the word will back. They said, oh, damn it. I said, no, 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 don't worry. That's your subconscious mind resisting because your subconscious doesn't believe that you can be peaceful right now. It's one day in the future when you get this, when you get that, when you do that, right? So now let's let's remove those layers and get into the present tense and and not have all kinds of qualifiers for it, but just go straight to the thing you want. Wow. Um, what I hear is that it's all about intention, clarity, holding the space. And yet our words are the power in it. And it's not that you're holding them accountable. You're giving them a choice. Yeah, totally. Cause it's, it's your pill. You get to decide what it means, what it's for, um, you know, and, and, and are you willing to take responsibility for that? And, you know, some people, I, I love it when they just keep the pill and they, they'll literally keep it on their shelf for three months, just staring at it, just because it makes you think it really just makes you think, um, of, of what is it that, that I really want. And you start to kind of realize how we're kind of going through life sometimes just waiting for what shows up. Um, and we've got a lot more choice in that. And it's, it's, it's scary. It's, a, it's a little bit freaky. I, I'm the first to admit that it's, it's, uh, you know, and, and, and maybe you'll do another episode with Holly because Holly is the, 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 the bravest. She's the astronaut of this. She takes it every day and she's, she's, um, had some just wild, wild experiences, um, 
with it. So like I'm I'm more the reserve, like let me do it every several weeks now these days. And she's just popping it every day and 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 constantly leveling up. I mean, if you if you talk to her, you see she's very, very happy with her life and went through a lot of learning lessons to get there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm guessing some of those expo experiences were the helping her clear blocks experiences and not yeah. just like here's the thing you wanted. No, this is all the things you have to go through to get through that because it sounds like, like what I'm hearing is the more clear, the clarity isn't just cognitively or visually. It's, it's a feeling that is what, sh what you're living into. It's that energy is that momentum that is being generated. And then it's holding that space for that, which is the alignment. Yes, absolutely. And, um, I like I'm I'm feeling right now what I've been consciously getting clear on for my mm. next I haven't done it since I worked with you nearly three months ago. It was so intense that one experience and so many things have shifted since then in a beautiful way because one big thing that I couldn't decide on was I wanted probably like six things. And I was thinking I would only have a one pill experience. And I'm like, how am I gonna get all these things packed into one pill? And then the visual and the feeling and everything came down to a simple phrase that meant everything to me. It yeah. felt like an hourglass of like, here's my whole life coming to this moment that's going to open me up mm. to this. And I'm just like, it's just getting bigger and bigger. And that's, that's what I did it for. And once again, it's that constant tuning, that navigating, that feeling that it's trusting right here, my heart. And just everything being open and flowing with that, because my intention, and I'll state it just for the sake of your understanding, is that it was, I live in the moment mm -hmm. now. Yeah. And, and like, I found myself, like I could be watching somebody, you know, performing on America's Got Talent and like, I didn't even notice it, but like tears were just pouring out of my eyes because they got the golden buzzer, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I've never experienced just a, this flow, like yeah. all the emotions just coming so easily. And like, no matter what time of the month it was. <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> you were, you were very dialed in for that. I remember it because yeah. it, uh, you know, to me it was, it was, it, you were so dialed in that even though Tristan was hacking his lungs out in the bathroom during your activation, I almost was almost cracking up because it was just one of those funny, blah, blah. And you're trying to have the like one of the deepest moments of your life. And I'm like, Kristen, what are you doing? And uh, but you were you were rock solid there. Just rock solid. Yeah. I I was in the moment. I yeah. was so present. Yeah. And it's, you know, that's something to know about the like, you know, if if for, for people who will will take an activator training, um, is I can't tell you how many times what the person taking it for like reflects something that I'm dealing with too. Really? Where I'm like, with yours right there too. I'm like, oh my god, I want to live in the moment so much more, you know. And it, it, I think it happened with several people's that night for me. Um, and that's that's kind of tricky because it's like you got to kind of hold on to that as almost a mental note. But then remember, this is not about me. This is this is your activation, right? But it's like it, it's almost like it, it, what's funny about it. I think is. Um, uh, my friend Jesse did this exercise where you're punching a bag and you're punching, and you're punching and punching. And then some, then you do the exercise again, where somebody is trying to pull you off the bag. Two people are trying to pull you off the bag and you're trying to punch and punch and punch and punch. And he said, which one was more fun where you just punch the bag or somebody trying to pull you off? And we all said, trying, somebody trying to pull you off. And he's like, yeah, that's what resistance is. Resistance is actually way more fun than if you just get your goal every single time. And so I think that's a lesson within the expo experience, but also as an activator, I find that like, it's like, Hey, you want to think about your personal stuff, Rob? And I'm like, Nope, Nope. I'm going to stay focused, going to stay focused. And it actually makes it, you know, just really interesting. Wow. Cause it makes the goal that much more intense. You, you have to focus all the harder on it. Like mm -hmm. some tasks that I do every day, they're meditative because I don't need to be thinking about what I'm doing because it's so automatic. Mm -hmm. But if there wasn't any resist, like when I get resistance, it's, it forces me to focus. Um, oh. I've been reading think like a monk by Jay Shetty. And I love the quote from it. It's like meditation does not eliminate distract distraction. It manages them. Mm. 
And I feel like in this moment, like you were creating a space to manage all the distractions. At least that's how I felt. And you were just honed in Mm. no matter what was trying to pull you away, you were focused. And for me, like it brought me forward to be like, just honed in because I felt that draw. It was like like a magnetic pull that brought everything up. Mm. It was ready to be. Yeah. Did, did, did time feel like it kind of stood still or that you could, you couldn't tell how long you were in it for? I had no idea. Right. It's trippy like that. Yeah. And, and I don't know if that's just because living in the moment is that way, but as an activator, is that your experience? Yeah, with the like, I especially with small groups, like of you know just a few to ten or so. Um, I've heard that feedback several times where people will 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 be done with it and they say, you know, was that five minutes? Was that thirty minutes? How long was where was that going? And 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 time starts to just disappear in that. I think because of the of the peer presence, and that's that's what I love hearing the most. That and and oftentimes people will say the, a good analogy was imagine that there's like in your mind a TV on, on just buzzing on, but you didn't realize it was buzzing on until you turned it off and realized the silence there. And people oftentimes have that experience after taking it, that they just had all this chatter that wasn't even words. It just feels like, like noise from a TV. And then you take it and then it's like, just quiet. And that's just a whole new level of peace. Yeah. I I definitely experienced that, but Mm. personally, like I, I know how real that was. And um, for me and the clients that I work with, I found that the biggest resistance for most people is that of change, mm-hmm. like the simpleness of change. It's almost like, as you were describing resistance, like, yeah, it was more fun to punch the punching bag with somebody doing resistance. But I think so many of us want to throw that person away and just punch the punching bag. And then they like, forget why they're there or their focus and their direction yeah. And, and maybe just the thought of the expo, <laughs> there, there was a lot of resistance thinking about like, what do I want? And then even all the pinging distractions or how, and which direction I go. And then what I loved is like, it wasn't until after I got there that you sent us home with a kit. And it's just like, I'm like, I can take how many of these, like, <laughs> <laughs> but it all like, since then I've thought like, okay, what is my next big growth experience? And just the thought of doing it, like my palms are getting sweaty thinking about it. Like, cause it, to me, it's a big deal. Like it's, oh, it's exciting, but I feel so drawn to this. Like I'm ready for it and I want it, but I know if the changes are going to happen like so fast. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you ready for it? I'm ready for it. But I can do it right I'm, now if you want. Good. I'm like, <laughs> right there. <sighs> okay. I'm not this. It's up to you. One of the things I'd like you and everybody else to know is one of the most important things I feel about the X pill is that nobody's ever felt pressured to do it. And that includes pressure from themselves. That means an audience. That means me. Um, I actually love it when somebody goes through an activation and they say, you know what, I'm I'm not ready or you know what, I want to think about this. And I'm like, great, because that means you empowered yourself to say how you're really feeling rather than, oh, because the alternative is, oh my gosh, I, I just did it because I was pressured in the moment and I really wanted everybody to feel like, uh, uh, you know, better about this, you know, doing it for the, and then you don't take responsibility, right? So I always say like, remember, this is your choice, what you take it for, if you take it, when you take it, and just own that choice because you always want to to come back to that grounding as opposed to being able to to blame the the circumstance on oh I was just you know we've all had those experiences where oh I just got caught in the moment and I made that terrible decision I've made several terrible decisions that way right okay. so that's why I'm like look you know and I even say that to you Lisa like look we could do this another time like this is this is a podcast you know if, if it raises sensation and you like that and you want that and it's a heck yes we do it and if it's not there's like there's no disappointment on anybody's part and that's I think an important thing for everybody to on on, on watching this to understand yeah well what's ironic is I had Karen willing to do it for me yesterday Mm. and the thought I had was wait. (laughs) And so in this moment, like uh, this was not expected, but for me, like just getting clear, like this feels like the right moment and I'm allowing that, but I also get timing is perfect and it's important. And, and so, yeah, I'm ready to do it. Okay. You got a glass of water in the pill? Oh, I've got some right next to me. I really, the only thing I don't have is a pill right next to me, but it's, literally within four feet. Okay, great. Why don't you grab it so that it's in front of you? 
Okay. And don't I take will. it out yet. Yeah, let me grab it. Okay. 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 Thank you so much for my pleasure. So everybody, you get to see an activation here. And um, you know, I'm I'm just gonna say this to you, Lisa, so that you feel totally safe in this. If there's anything that comes up where you're like, you know what, that was really private, or I'm not sure about this, or I don't want to go in there, you know, this is this is something that, that can be edited. Um, so just so you're not feeling that, oh my god, I hold gotta hold back right now. Right. I'm I'm all in. This is the X pill. Mm -hmm. there you go um yeah a lot's coming up right now things that i have been slightly coming to my awareness with just the thought of this and that that's what happens and that i know happens having sat across from you before of that's what happens when you're ready to take it is you start to feel the why that mm -hmm. underneath it the reason why you felt called to even consider that intention and mm -hmm. um i have a feeling that there's a little bit more that will come up that i haven't seen yet but mm -hmm. i'm just gonna set this right here okay great all right so just get settled take a few breaths settle down in your body mm -hmm. and so you know you can either close your eyes at any point feel what you're feeling um just have privacy or keep eye contact if you make eye contact elsewhere then i'm going to bring you back What's most important to know is that it's your choice, whether you take it, if you take it, what you take it for, when you take it. Um, do you have any questions before we begin? No. Okay. So Lisa, how, what are the sensations you're feeling in your body right now? If you can describe them and keep your eyes here. My hands are buzzing. They're mm -hmm. full of heat. They're sweating. Um, my legs and knees are full of energy and I'm just feeling a pulsing up and down my spine. Great. Right. So breathe into all those sensations, letting them be, not trying to change them. It's all, all good. And just simply being with the breath for a few moments and just take a few to feel that in your hands and your legs, your arms, and you'll let me guide you through the process. And you'll notice as you're doing it and everybody else will notice that, that you're in charge. You are completely in charge of this. And I'm simply guiding you through you. So just taking a few breaths. And as you breathe and feel those sensations, notice, do they increase, decrease, shift, or stay the same? Increasing. Great. Awesome. So that's that's that sensation. Um, they're breathing into the increasing. Yeah, I love that smile. <laughs> And so what we're looking for now, as you breathe in and stay with it, is if you're loving the sensations, we can move forward with it. If you want to ground the sensations and first become grounded and centered, in it, we can do that. Or sometimes what there is, is there's a, some kind of feeling or emotion or sensation or thought behind it that can be explored. So how are you feeling about the sensation you're feeling? It's welling up and I'm like getting teary eyed. Great. Um, a lot of feelings of gratitude are showing up. Great. So let yourself feel that some more. Breathe into the gratitude. Breathe into the teary-eyed. And especially since you've done this and you're the master of this process, I'm going to let you sit in this and for you to determine when, um, when you're ready. And that can be seconds. That can be minutes. Just simply being in the process. You can close your eyes. You can do whatever you'd like. But I'll let you cue me as to when you're ready. I want to describe what I'm feeling right now. Great. Go for it. So a new thought came to me and it's just the pure acceptance of all of my flaws. Mm, wow. And being okay with let them, with letting them be seen. Love it. Yeah. So is that what you'd like to use your expo for? You don't have to, it's just coming out. Um, just breathe. Just don't even answer for now. Just, just let your body react to it. Just let yourself feel it. Cause remember, this is your choice. You don't have to do it for that. And just simply let your sensations feel it knowing you're not committing to anything right now. Yeah. It may be okay. simply a passing one and we go back to your original intention. We can do that. This is access to my original intention. Okay. 
I'm just stating it in a very backwards way that seems to flow and work. <laughs> okay. You want to say it again? What do you want to use it for? The, yeah. uh, uh. I am accepting all of my flaws and allowing them to be seen. Mm. And allowing them to be seen. Is that what you said? Yeah. Mm. And how does that feel as you say it? Really good. Mm. Feels like love. Mm. Feels like acceptance. Feels like authenticity. Yeah. Yeah. So love, acceptance, authenticity. Um, it sounds like that phrase, though, is even more powerful for you in this moment than just the phrase love or authenticity or acceptance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. And is there anything that you, it seems like a very, very pure, very, very pure and clear intention. And, um, you know, usually we'd go deeper into the emotion and the why and the, um, the visions of it and what can happen next. And we often do that, but, but when you're this activated and the activated being your body's where your emotions are feeling it there, the words are feeling so clear that I think we could go straight to the pre-flight check if you feel ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, great. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up your hand. You're going to put the pill inside it, but don't swallow it or take it yet until I say and now what you're gonna do is the pre-flight check is where we test it out, see how the words feel with the sentence. So you're gonna say, by taking this X pill, I, and state your intention. By taking this X pill, my mind went blank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you'd said by taking, the, by the, I, I accept my flaws. Yeah. And, um, Allow them to be seen. Allow them to be seen, yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. By taking the sex pill, I accept my flaws and allow them to be seen. And how does that feel as you say that? There's still a flow. The charge seems to be a little less. Mm -hmm. It's not like as intense. Mm -hmm. um, I'm cooling off some. From all the sweat that's now yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but i still feel that flow it's in my legs still it's in my body yeah so a lot of that is clearing out the resistance the the heat can be the resistance literally heat resistors you know so it it it's it's now it's a little less dramatic but it's it's yeah. still like you said a flow of clarity so try saying it one more time to be sure by taking this x pill i by taking this x pill i accept my flaws and allow them to be seen and how does that feel? You feel clear for takeoff? Yeah. Okay. So now you're going to do it for real. And I'm I'm simply your witness. I'm not even going to give you a thumbs up or a nod or anything. I'm just here as your witness. And you're going to say the words again by taking the sex pill I, state the phrase, swallow it, and let yourself savor that feeling and those words and it going down, integrating and feeling it. The only reason I stop you in this case is if I hear you do something different, um, which I'm very quick to pick up on. And so you don't have to worry. Um, just take your time with it. Say the words. I'm, I'm not here to give you any affirmation. You're validating yourself in this. I'm simply your witness to this. Cool? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling more come up. It's okay. And you can breathe into that and feel that and center it, or or it's part of it's the fun. So it's up to you. Yeah. By taking this X pill, I accept my flaws and allow them to be seen. And let yourself feel it. You and close your eyes. You can be with it. Just, yeah. Oh. I'm just laughing. Um, I was not expecting that. <laughs> right? It's This process is surprising. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and you can share the, the contrast or not like a part, part of as, as Lisa's feeling this and letting herself integrate and feel it. I'll just say to everybody watching, um, oftentimes what I say with this is, is to let yourself be with whatever that is. Oftentimes people will go take a nap afterward. It's like the subconscious coming online, or sometimes there's a lot of energy. You want to just go work out. Um, whatever that is that I say, go with the sensations. 
um, as long as it's within your boundaries. And, uh, and then, um, you know, it, it just to be because you're on the ride now, it's like taking a drug pill. And that means there could be new opportunities, new sensations, new feelings, new invitations, new opportunities. Um, and all you have to do, like when you're on a drug is you don't have to do anything. You're you're on the ride. So it could be it could be just glorious or it could be something that's that's in the way of this acceptance that comes up and you go, oh, that's something I haven't accepted yet. Oh, here's something new for me to accept. It could be that. So it could be all these things. Oh no. <laughs> <It could be. laughs> I'm sure you were thinking that as I was saying that. No, know. no, I wasn't thinking anything. No. Okay. Mm -mm. Well, that's where like my mind was so clear. Like there was no distractions. No, this, the only thing that came up is this feels so backwards. <laughs> really? As in like, I feel like I'm just allowing myself to be me because I didn't realize how how I was afraid of my failures. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize how I was afraid of other people seeing them. Um, and that part of that caused me to hold back and to not be a hundred percent authentic or to be apologetically myself rather than unapologetically me and just allow myself to make mistakes and to make up for them and to become better and to grow and like all this is just coming to me because this is 100% new. I was not expecting that. Like what showed <laughs> up once again, I thought like I was clear on something, but how I was going to describe it was quite the opposite because a part of me like wants this idea of perfection. And yet this was last night as I'm like underneath it all. I want this, like I need a tissue. Oh, <laughs> didn't come out my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Was that I... I needed to redefine what perfection was mm. and it came down to authenticity of like, that's the most beautiful thing. I think we can all be as authentic mm. and part of my, the piece of me that I think I haven't allowed to show up was my failures and my imperfections. And now it's like, I'm just relaxing into that. I'm like, Oh yeah, I have them. And I'm okay <laughs> with them. <laughs> beautiful. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful to witness and watch and be a part of. So thank you for being so courageous and open and vulnerable. Thank you. Is there anything that you noticed that showed up? Hmm. Um no, I mean it's it it's it, it's remarkably fast though. Like usually usually we'd get into it, it's it's way more rational. And we'd probably come to that at the end of feeling, okay, what's the why? Why do you want the perfection? Okay, what does that feel like to have perfection? Okay, you know, what do you visualize? And you might see a, a, a vision that that's like, oh, that oh my gosh, it's it's my flaws, right? So it's, that would usually be a process that we'd go about because it's more stuck in the rational mind. But I think you're you're so good at getting in touch with the emotions in your body already that you know you're 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 more experienced than most, even before X pill of of how to do that that you got, you know, straight to the truth. Yeah. Yeah. And once again, thank you for holding out space. Yeah. Because just like last time, boom, I got it. <laughs> um, and, and I knew I was going to get there. And I was, my intention was to get there soon. Like it happened sooner than I expected as yeah. is most cases when you take the X pill. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, so, it's always yeah. the right timing. I like to think. Yeah, it is. Oh man, I um I feel such a rush of love flowing in my body right now. Beautiful. Um Let for feel parts it. of me that I haven't fully embraced. And mm. wow. Now there, there's way more love and gratitude. And um I think the more I see and feel it within myself, the more I see it and feel it in the world around me and the people wow. that show up. Yeah. And I'm so excited. I am so excited for this part of me. And I think all of us just need, like, I, I think of failing as a child. Like, all we need in that moment is love. Mm. And, wow, is it there? I feel it. It's huge. It's huge. Wow. And I love that you're connecting that with with being in the world with it, too. Like, when we don't judge ourselves so much, we stop judging other people so much. You know, it's like it leaks out whatever we're feeling inside to that projection. And so you loving and accepting that is just I'm 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 jealous of all the people who get to see you today and get to <laughs> feel that emanating from you. Wow. Yeah. Um <laughs> in person. Um yeah, I hope everyone watching this gets to feel that too, because what a what a beautiful gift that is. 
Mm. Like we're all here. I think too often I've been so focused on the success of things and trying to make it look a certain way that I miss out on, on all of this, on loving every part of it. Oh yeah. Cause we don't get the do over or like, if you don't love it during it, then. Yeah. 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 That, that's, that's beautiful. Awesome. And it, it took, you know, as everybody saw, it took courage to to do that. When those sensations come up, the roller coaster, it's like, ah, uh, uh, I, I, things are going well right now. I don't need to lean to mess with my life too much. But you don't know what's behind that door unless you open that door and go through it. Yeah, it's totally worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, this is this is perfect that we're coming to this right in the perfect timing of this as as our hour wraps up and you'll be able to do, you know, rather than have to uh, continue this uh, for a while, like you can do whatever, whatever you feel like, whatever it is that's coming up for you, that's most in alignment for you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I so appreciate you. And uh, I guess the last question I have is what, what advice would you give for somebody that's, that wants this or maybe is resisting it? That's like, what could it do for someone like that? The skeptic? I, I love the question. It's great because the resistance that comes up, oftentimes that's the new information because you, everybody says, okay, I want this. But then when you place it, imagine placing that pill or get, get a pill that's not even the X pill and put it in front of you and say, well, knowing that you're going to take that and you can't take it back, now what's holding you back from that? And so just know that the resistance process is part of it. It's part of what makes it fun. It's part of what makes it interesting. If you knew exactly what was going to happen, then life's just not nearly as interesting and fun and, and explorative. Um, so just know you, you, you know, you, you, you might already be on the ride and that also to know that like, you're not judging yourself. I, I, I encourage everybody don't judge yourself for this decision. You can, you can take the, you can take the X pill. You could not take the X pill. Like you're already, if you're watching this whole thing, I'm sure you've already gotten something, even though you haven't taken the pill yet. I'm sure you've gotten something from watching this experience. And that's, that is an X pill experience of, of its own. So if you're like, oh my gosh, I got so much resistance and, and I shouldn't have it. No, that's, that's new information. That's, that's something you get to sit with and be with. So, so I encourage everybody, I'd love for you to do it, but also if you don't, um, don't judge yourself for that either. Yeah. Well, thank you. Um, I actually have another question and that yeah. is why would you recommend that somebody have an activator with them when taking the expo versus just like getting a vitamin C tablet out of their cabinet right now? Yeah, I think it is better with an activator because a, the holding space, um, and it's, it's, there's, as you've seen it, there is a magic to it that just doesn't come out sometimes as much with on your own. Um, there's the elevated sensation, uh, in the body that that really activates it, where when we're alone, we might not not have that. And a trained activator will hold space really well, will reflect back what they're seeing, will tell you that, you know, this is your choice. You don't have to do this and and just create an environment of safety for you to take it and to for 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 somebody to hold that. Um, I think just any experience in life almost is pretty much more powerful with other people there. Um, so, and, and, uh, I think it kind of takes out a little of the fear too, to say, okay, I'm, I'm doing this with somebody who's been through it before, who knows how to do it, who understands, who knows a flag to look for like that in the wording, like, oh, okay, now I feel a little safer that I'm not going to do something that like, you know, is going to be as much of a lesson <laughs> as it, as it has to be. Right. Because, uh, because you're with a trained activator. Yeah. And, and the power of a witness, like you've mentioned. Yes. There, there is a lot of like this experience. It's been huge. I've been thinking about it, visualizing this moment. Mm. Um, I didn't visualize it. Who would be across from me? And it was perfect. So perfect. I'm so glad. I, I agree. There's so much power in that. As much training as I've had for 17 years, becoming present with my body, mm. um, regardless of the training, just what you're able to do and what I've witnessed with those who haven't had training can still have this potent experience totally with an totally. activator it's huge totally. it makes i think 90 percent of the difference honestly mm. interesting yeah yeah so thank you so much i so appreciate you and i'm so excited for what you have created for the world thank and you thank, thank you, you. It's, an, it's an honor and pleasure thank you okay thank you and so we have our next interview and i look forward to that thank you thank you me too okay all right uh, let me stop recording